morning. Woke up a little bit late. So I had to jump in the shower and now I'm off to work. So I've been checking my email like crazy. Really want the company to get back to me. I'm a little bit overexcited. Maybe I can stop at 7-Eleven. Uh, 20... 25 minutes. I think I can stop. Maybe. The herbs. Get a taquito. Yeah, taquito sounds good. I've been uploading like crazy. Internet's like on and off, so I have to like... Utilize it. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna upload this, and then I'm gonna go to bed. Actually, I'm gonna try and find RuPaul's Drag Race because I missed it this week. So I'm it's probably online, right? I would imagine. I bet I could find it somewhere. So I'm gonna find it and watch it and go to sleep. So, see you bitches later. Hey guys. Oh. Happy Super Bowl Sunday. The Giants. I'm a Giants fan. Well, I'm a Giants fan through Bloodline. Well, through my mom anyway. Because my grandparents are Jets fans, and uh, my mom and my neighbors are Giants fans. So, uh, from the immediate household, I'm a Giants fan. I'm not much of a Super Bowl person, I just enjoy the commercials. I'm one of those guys. Hopefully they have some good ones. Last year kind of stinked. I always enjoy Doritos commercials. They, I think they always come up with really funny ones. I'm going to be working through the whole game, so... <clears throat> Not much excitement there. I'm going to be working all week. The only day I have off is Wednesday. And every other day of the week... I'm working and going to school and doing something. So, uh, it's gonna be pretty crazy this week. But I think because I was really bad last week, like last week was supposed to be my first week without fast food and anything, like, I still went to the movies, so I kind of spent the same amount of money I would have spent anyway. So, this week, I'm not gonna get anything. That's over like six dollars at all. So if I'm shit out of luck and like I don't have food to bring to work, I'm not gonna get anything more than six dollars. See if I can make it throughout the week without indulging myself. I made myself a tuna sandwich for lunch today and some yogurt. And uh, I'm all good to go. Alright guys, well, enjoy the Super Bowl while I go to work and, uh, go Giants. See you guys later. The Giants won! Yeah! Yeah! The Giants won! Yeah! I caught, like, the last 45 minutes of the game. And, uh, but they won, amazingly. When I got home, they were losing. So, um, at least I got to see the turnaround. Um, that's really it, folks. Oh, do you like my outfit today? I like it. I think it's cute. I'm not much of a long sleeve under short sleeve kind of guy, but I could be. I think it's turning out alright. I like it. I approve. So, anyway, aside from that, um, I'm gonna go to bed. Because the day's over. And that's what happens when the day's over is you go to bed. So that's what I do. See you guys tomorrow. Oh.
Holy balls, it's fucking cold. And more frost, of course. Did one day that I'm late for work. Jesus Christ. car because I have another flat tire. <sighs> this world sucks. And of course it's like friggin' Jack Frost humped all our cars last night because you can't see shit. <sighs> I'm obviously having a great day. My fingers are so cold they feel like they're burning. What is with this weather? It's warm, then it's freezing, then it's hot, then it's cool, then it's freezing again. Make up your damn mind! I've got to get this tire fixed. Uh, yep. That's a doozy. What a piece of crap. For now, this will be my savior. Filling it up with goo. Goopy tires. And now I'm off to school. What a busy person I am. God, if I turn the camera off or not. I just kind of spaced out, so I don't even know if I'm talking to anybody right now. I have to check to see if, uh... <laughs> yep. Still talking, you guys. <laughs> Thought you guys left. Didn't see you there. Sorry, I got a little distracted. I was driving. Wednesday is my day off. I'm gonna head down to Walmart and ask about their tire thing because they make they have a tire service, so maybe I'll get my tire replaced. And if it's cheap enough, maybe I'll get all my tires replaced. Hey guys. <clears throat> Today's gonna be pretty much the same as yesterday. Um, work and then. So yesterday in my political thinking class, uh, we were discussing the topic of people's rights, obviously, what else would we talk about? Um, but the issue that was brought up was, um, if people had, if people have the right, um, it, it's actually a law, people have the right to assemble and, um, you know, have a parade, walk down the, you know, walk down the street, um, people have a right to do that, no matter what it is, like, you know, like we do for St. Patrick's Day, like the Irish, we're allowed to assemble and have a parade, go down the street, and the law is required to, um, escort and protect them. So, like, a whole lot of years ago, like, I want to say, I don't even really know, but it was years ago, um, the Nazi party had asked, um, the city, I 
forget what city, but it's like the third, the, the city with the third largest amount of Holocaust survivors in, in the city. And the first two were New York and, uh, Los Angeles. So the other two, the, the, the third one was some random city in, uh, I forget what state. But, um, anyway, the Nazi party had asked that city if they could do a parade. And they had said no. And then the Nazi party sued the, the, the government of the town or the city. And they won. And all they want to do is walk down the street and hold swastikas. They're not holding signs that say, kill Jews. They're not saying, you know, burn every... No, they're just walking down the street with swastikas. And... They're just walking. So, do they have the right to do that? Yeah, it's freedom of speech and, um, you know, a lot of things take play in it. I just thought it was interesting that they had to have police protect them, just like police would have to protect any group marching. Um, and it's, technically, it's right. You have to treat every group the same, you know, as long as they're not walking down the streets burning things and, you know, assaulting people. All they're doing is walking. Technically, you can't stop them from walking. If you guys have any opinions or ideas or whatever, feel free to drop them in the comments. I just let that be an interesting topic to share. I think whatever I talk about in that class from now on, I'll just show to you guys and see what you guys think about it. Hey guys, I'm on my way to school now. I have math tonight. I haven't had a math class. Well, not counting the online class that I flunked out of last semester, I haven't actually been to a math class in like four years. So... expect. It's the same class that I took online, so I mean, I, I get the concepts and I'm, I've, I've been pretty good at math. Like, I'm not um, I'm not bad. Once I understand the concept, I like I'm really good. Um, so I'm not really worried about it, but uh, you know kind of uh, kind of weird. Policeman. school so see you later um if anything this is a video to my professor um sorry but <laughs> that's what i'm dealing with there's a uh, i have to i'm in the king cullen shopping center in selden and um there's they're blocking off the road and it's uh 10 to 6 and um they're not really, they're not even letting us out of this parking lot. Uh, I'm not really sure what's going on. <laughs> I don't even know where I'm, people are putting cones up and I can't even see what happened. I don't know if it's an accident or something that happened with the restaurant that's there. I have to focus on driving for a second. I don't know what I should do now. Because I'm... I'm now late. Do I... I don't even know where the class is. I, I, so first I would have to go to a computer lab, look up what my schedule is, then go to the place. I'm probably going to be like 45 minutes late. And I don't know if there's a... I don't know if there's a lateness policy. Like some people have like 15 minutes and it's an absence. And I'm definitely gonna be more than 15 minutes.
Jesus. Fuck. Should I just go home? I missed last week. Because I, I had to switch my schedule. So now I have two absences. That's gonna not be good. Missing two classes. I don't know what to do though. For a night in, we are making our own lemon drop martinis. Oh. <laughs> as you measure it. And you pour. Oh look, it's me. <laughs> shake, shake, shake. No. <laughs> What's under here? I've never seen a more perfect beauty. No. <laughs> Mother! I'll get you in the reflection. I can't. Yeah, I can. Look at this drink. <laughs> hey, Mom, get out of my glass! So I went uh, food shopping with my mom, and I got a whole bunch of dinners to eat, or lunches to eat at work this week. So. Now I have a variety to, uh, that's chicken or something pasta. So now I have a variety to work with. Because last week was kind of like a trial, but this week is going to be my absolute diet. Because now I, I have to, I have to be good. I got more yogurt. And stuff. And, uh, yeah. I think in the next few weeks, if it starts staying warm outside, I'm gonna start going jogging again, which is gonna be an interesting experience. I'm probably gonna be sweating my ass off because that's what happened this past summer when I started. Oh, gosh, no. Yeah. But, uh, Anyway, that's that's what it's looking like. Is a bunch of frozen dinners that hopefully are good. Right, Mac? <laughs> what? Are you on your throne? Your throne? The doggy throne? Good morning. It's not Cool this pool is. Hello. This is where the magic happens, right? In this kitchen. What's your name, buddy? Hey guys, I'm uh, Matt from Long Island. Subscribe. Sony Web. Subscribe.